Hey, what's going on everybody? Just want to tell you about my day that I had today. Um, we were able to go to the fruit and spice park today. Also, we stopped by an incredible fruit market and I definitely want to show you that fruit market. So uh, I'm gonna be showing it to you towards the end of this video. The wind is really blowing, so sorry about the camera blowing. Uh, but, but hang around to the end of the video. I'm gonna let you meet the owner's son. Um, he owns it along with his father. Uh, he allowed me to do an interview with him and he's gonna give you some very good information. Not only that, but I also have some recipes for some smoothies for you that I'm gonna show you right at the end. So if you leave, you're not gonna get those recipes. Those smoothies that they created was awesome. So I will be posting it and showing that to you at the end. So just hang around and watch uh, what I was actually able to experience. This was probably the best fruit market that I have been to, especially as polite as they were. So keep watching. Hey, welcome everybody. Hey, we're at a, a fruit market down in Homestead, Florida. It is actually called Robert is Here. Uh, so that's the name of the fruit market. We traveled down here about an hour and a half uh, to come down and experience this place. So I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. He said these right here are good too. Okay, mame sapote. And this one right here looks like it is raw. I'm like it's ready to get. It's ripe. Okay, sugar apples. All right, so welcome to Robert is Here Fruit Stand. I'm Robert Jr. You're standing in a place where Robert also stands. We carved him out of a mahogany log. So Robert is Here was founded in 1959, November. It was Thanksgiving break in November and my grandfather used to be a cucumber farmer. Brought all his cucumbers to the broker here in Florida City and the broker told him that the market price for cucumbers was so cheap that he would have better success to dump all the cucumbers and save his boxes for next year's crop. Rather than just dumping them, they got resourceful. My dad was just a six-year-old little boy sitting at home on the living room couch. Grandma said, you're gonna go out and you're gonna sell cucumbers today. So she packed up some cucumbers and stuck them on the side of the road, same place you're standing right here and absolutely zero customers stopped to help the chubby little six-year-old on the side of the road. My grandfather figured maybe no one saw him. They probably thought he was waiting for a pickup truck to pick him up from, you know. So they decided to spray paint Robert is here on a hurricane shutter. And damn if he didn't sell out. He sold out so fast that when he walked home just a mile west of here, my grandma got kind of upset thinking he left his post. What are you doing? You got to sell some cucumbers. So sold out, walked home. Kept on selling more cucumbers. The next day, show up, sell some more cucumbers. Local neighborhood farmers driving by would see this little kid sitting out here, keep showing up selling cucumbers. They'd drop off some avocados. 
some mangoes, whatever they had, they had tomatoes. And so it's kind of cool how the neighborhood got behind him and said, look, you keep showing up, we'll keep giving. And this November will mark 65 years that we've been here on this same corner, same guy doing the same thing. No blueprint for anything that you see here. We are 100% just solving today's problem and this naturally evolving into what you see it now. We average almost 2,000 milkshakes a day from Christmas to Easter. Uh, end of May, June, July, and August, it is like a mango festival in here. We have Kent, Kitts, Valencia Prides, Glens, Edwards, Rosie Golds, Pickerings. I mean, it is just a full-on mango festival. And that's every day of the week. We have samples, you can try all these. We're out back, we have animals. We have zero waste. We have so many mangoes. You know, you get a bad spot in a mango, it'd be a damn shame to throw the whole thing away. So what we do is cut the bad spot out, throw it in a bucket, and make a milkshake out of the rest. And then the animals eat the scraps. And so there's, you know, not too many businesses can, can claim that they have, you know, zero waste. It's pretty neat. Uh, milkshakes are definitely a staple here. We pride ourselves on selling the unusual. You can get, you can get apples and grapes and oranges anywhere you go. But here, where, we were, where we're located in South Florida, it's pretty unique that our area, you can grow guanamanas, lychees, wax jambu, monstera deliciosa, uh, mangoes, avocados, many different tropicals that you, would, you, know, you find in other countries. Man, you're right here, it's just south of Miami. You can have the Miami flavor, you can have the Keys flavor, and the taste of the tropics right here in Homestead. We have mame that grow. You can't even grow mame two hours north of here. Mame takes, that is like gold of the Redlands. It's like the unsung hero. This fruit takes 25 years to grow from seed. And then once the tree produces and does it gets to maturity, it takes 18 months to two years while your fruit is hanging on the tree. And you got to beat the squirrels, the thieves, and the hurricanes. But if you can get past that, it is every mame picked is a mame sold. It is, it is like printing money. We picked up two of them. Yeah, no, it, it, they are the flavor. With the heavy Latin culture down here, Mame is king. Mame milkshakes. The best smoothie that we make is not even with ice cream. It's mango passion banana with honey and just enough, just enough ice in there to make it cold. And it is like WD-40 for the soul. Oh, that's that's a, pretty much raw. It's 100% raw, no dairy whatsoever. Well, you just sold one, just yeah, it, in fact, I'll make one for you. I'm gonna eat one too, so we'll, we'll, we'll share one together. But it is it's so much fun. The flavors are so cool. I went to school in Kentucky. I had a roommate that never even eaten an avocado. I grew on a I grew up on a five acre avocado grove right in front of my house, and ten acres of mangoes right next to us. Wow! And, and so it was always fun bringing people from outside down to our area and show them how we do life. Now, are these mangoes from your farm? From our farm. This is the last of them. Our mango season is from the end of May, June, July, and August. And so. Once you get past August, it's pretty much slim picking. The tree, the tree trim has already been called. We always trim our trees back to 14 feet, hit them with fertilizer, and then produce them back up with flowers again in now end of just May. Tried a couple of your mangoes. They're the fun. Best mangoes we have ever had. Really? That's the kit, yeah. the kit variety, the K E I T T kit. We we really specialize in Kent, Kit, and Valencia Pride. Those are our our, our most consistent pride and joy mango where every single one is you know the same flavor we ship out so many thousands of pounds of mangoes the the it, the social media aspect you know you can only sell so many mangoes in house but with with online social media and all that promoting it's amazing we, robert is here can go right to your front door wow yeah well, i definitely appreciate after it. this came after hurricane irma so I, the log did after Hurricane Irma, we have all these mahogany trees, sapodilla trees that are really uh, tamarind trees, very highly sought after pieces of wood. And they're on their way to the dump because everyone's, you know, clearing out their homes and getting ready, to, you know, after a hurricane, cleaning up. So I started driving around with my pickup truck, a trailer, and a forklift just cleaning up. And I found a guy that carved my dad out of one mahogany log here. This is a jackfruit. We took the picture from his book and carved him out of it. We tried to get it done before we came back from uh, North Carolina, but it took about a month from start to finish. It's all one piece. And he just went on a picture. Like I said, he just held up our book for a model to cut. But he's got his cell phone here. Got his little knife pouch here. Got the Robert is here logo on the back of the shirt. Robert is here. 
<laughs> wow. we, uh, it's pretty cool, you know. I like I said, no, November marks 65 years. You know, not too many businesses have. And the guys, my dad is still here. You know, Robert is here. Uh, See, I asked if that was your dad. 100 percent. Yeah, Eternal. yeah. So we wrote a book. He's like, look. I don't care if we sell one copy. I want your grandkids to know that this wasn't just a, a hundred thousand dollar idea and a bunch of money invested and other people getting, you know, this was one little boy that kept showing up. And his business motto is keep showing up and good shit happens. You know, just keep showing up, sell a quality product and look around me. This is a fruit stand. It looks like a nightclub in here. And this is Labor Day. like this every day? So Christmas to Easter is when we're absolutely slamming. When the rest of the country's frozen over, right. we're really doing well selling milkshakes and everything else. Everybody comes to Florida. But so uh, Labor Day weekend right now uh, is typically the end of our busy rush. Back to school, the rest of the country's beautiful. Right. Hurricane season, you know, not too many travelers come down. But right after Christmas, it's like clockwork. You see the RVs coming, they're staying in the Everglades National Park. We got, a, we got a hell of a draw right here in our little town. We got two national parks. Nowhere else in the country that's a, we, we have not one, but two. We got this now, what's kid. your name? Robert. I'm Robert, Robert as well. Yeah. Hey, well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Nice meeting you. Just coming out here and just explaining to us about this place. It's our passion. We, did, we only learned about it today when we were some friends who came down with us. And they told us about this place. Fun. So we were actually going to go to the Fruit and Spice Park. Uh, hey, you still got to go to the Fruit and Spice Park. It's a yeah, lot of well, fun. we're here. So it's cool. we're glad we came. Well, I'm it's glad. good meeting you, and thank you so much for sharing with us. Absolutely welcome. Come right. on now. Okay, so this is what we got. I got some of the world's best avocado. I promise you I've never tasted anything. Oh, I'm sorry, mangoes. Never tasted anything like that in my life. We also got another custard apple. These are like $19.95 a pound. And we got a mame, and y'all know I love some guacamole. So they've got guacamole down here in the container as well. So we had a great time, and we we're about to go off to another one. <laughs> so as you all got to see, I got to speak with the owner's uh, son, and I also got to meet the owner down here as well. Um, and they also made me a smoothie. It's Passion, um, banana, uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's all natural, it's all raw. They did add a little honey for sweetener. It's called, Of course, you all know I'm a bee grower anyway. I raise bees, so I have no problem with eating honey. Um, but I was able to, to get something raw from down here as well. So hope you guys, you guys enjoyed this. I had a great time here. Uh, bought several items from here, and uh, so you all take care.